Now, the premier also announced funding today for municipalities struggling financially due to COVID-19. It's giving those municipalities up to four billion of the seven billion it received from Ottawa to help with shelters, food banks, and in particular transit, which will get half of the four billion. And with this funding announced today, all eyes are on the premier as we wait to hear how much Toronto will be receiving. No word on that yet, but our Janella Massa is tracking that part of the story. Janella. Well, that's right, Cynthia. We don't know how much uh, funding Toronto will receive, but the mayor is hoping that money will help fill a more than $1.3 billion shortfall because that Toronto is facing because of COVID-19. I'm hopeful that we can get the entire $1.3 billion, but I can't say I'm expecting it in the sense that I know that out of a total of $4 billion, they will have to allocate this as between transit and other municipal uses. I'm aware of the fact there are 440 cities and towns, albeit that we're the biggest in Ontario, but I'm optimistic that uh, we won't have to have any game plan of any substance to uh, inflict uh, negative uh, you know, consequences on the people uh, who need help the most uh, because we will get this kind of support, but we'll have to see. We're also learning more tonight on where the city stands when it comes to entering stage three. As we mentioned, we're expecting an announcement Wednesday regarding whether or not this city will progress to the next stage of the province's reopening strategy. Toronto's top doctor says the city's latest modeling data is optimistic, but everyone does still need to stay vigilant with physical distancing to stop the spread of the virus. With our latest figures, we should be on, uh, we have four different categories of indicators, and we will be green on three of, out of four of those categories, premised on the numbers that we have as of late. So I think things are moving in the right direction. We do need the continued collaboration and partnership of members of our community, sticking to public health measures as much as possible. Now, the city is also launching a new program which aims to give residences, uh, residents a glimpse into Toronto's rich history. It's called Historic TO, the program providing walking tours as well as online access to the city's art collections, some of which have never been available for public viewing. For more information on that, you can head to our website, citynews.ca slash extras.